Hello, my name is Joseph Maya, and I'm going to walk you through how we applied lean principles towards our SPD miscellaneous job tracker. Um, all miscellaneous jobs for us we consider to be $5,000 and under, and what we were doing was instead of having to create a green sheet and, and run it through Raquel and run it through the portal like a standard job, um, usually because these are single, you know, pull out, repairs, or door adjustments, we have created a system in which we would go to our accounting department, request a job number, we'd give them the pertinent information such as the proposal and the contractor and the estimate, and then they would set up a job number in this spreadsheet right here. As you can see, we've got some dating all the way back to November 2011, and this, is, this log is kept all the way down to the last time we've entered a job in here, which was early March. So I'll explain to you briefly what the process was for how we manage these jobs and then I'll go ahead and show you the lean down version. So in this job, the first, in this process, the first step is the PM or the estimator will bid the job, then we get the direction to proceed from the general contractor. From that point on, the project manager or the estimator has to send that information to our accounting department and request a job number. They manage this Excel form, they, in, they create a job number, whichever is next in line, and they fill out the information based off of the proposal, and then they will create this very wasteful folder that, you know, can be very tedious, putting the job name, job number, general contractor. They then, you know, do the whole punch, place the proposal in here, and any other pertinent information such as contracts, etc. At that point, they give the folder back to the project manager and they execute the work and they start tracking any change order quotes, purchase orders, any other missiles information that we need to track within this folder. That way, when we go to bill it, they have the adequate backup. So there was lots of wasted footsteps between both departments and also we were wasting lots of paper creating waste on people's desks and it was really you know, time consuming to track these jobs. So, what we decided to do was, you know, collaborate with Tina Fugit, who's our portal developer, and come up with a way that we could basically turn all of this information and workflow into something digital on the portal. That way we store the data in one place and constantly refine it. And then when it's time to bill, basically it sends a notification to the accounting department and then they have all of their information in one place that the PM can constantly update and keep their files stored without us having to go back and forth and create these unneeded um, tangible folders. So now I'm going to show you our new module that we've created in order to lean down the entire process. So on the Walters and Wolf portal you can click the SPD tab up here and this is our new jobs tracking module. We have three main tabs for quotes, jobs, and completed and as you enter jobs into the quotes page they will be white and you can see there's a bunch of green ones these are all the ones that we've sold and then once you basically fill out the information as you can see there's a quote number, job name, contractor quoted to, brief description, amount, date, etc. and then there's even this nice little feature where when you create a job it will automatically create a folder into the J drive and it will name it the name of the project this one here is Adobe J W Tower and you can store all of your pertinent information such as proposals purchase orders, estimates um, any correspondence that you think you would need to build this job out or refer to later on um, so the next step from when you enter it in as a quote would be getting the direction to proceed so then you'd come in here to one of these jobs, I'll click here, and you basically just click this job number. When you were to do that and save it, you go to the jobs tab, and you would see all current jobs that are either in progress or have been completed and are waiting to be billed. So all these blue ones here are jobs that are already completed, these white ones are in progress. So it keeps all that information and transfers over. Um, you can see we still have these job folders here so I'll click on one just to show you here is basically our tag a filled tag that we would need to build the customer 
So once these jobs get complete on this tab, we come here, click on here, and all of these jobs on this page are the ones that have been completed and are waiting to be billed. So if it's green, that means that our accounting department has already billed the customer, and if it's white, it is a pending job that we just basically need to put the package together and bill the customer. So by creating this system, we've been able to eliminate all of these folders, all of the paperwork, all of the copies, all of the scanning, and, and you know doing the, the redundant work that isn't needed. And we've been able to store it all digitally in these job folders. In addition to that, it also allows us to have a better pulse as to what has been billed and what hasn't. That way we can stay on top of our billings, in addition to be able to refer back to old jobs and see what kind of work we actually performed, you know, and, and what product numbers we provided. It, it sort of allows us to utilize the portal like we would do with any other job, but on a much more um, streamlined method. So anyhow, that's my two-second lean for the day. Thanks.